Hey guys, that's me here uh, with another video. Uh, this video is going to be about gaming in Final Fantasy XIII. Now, um, thanks to uh, J Man or Jay's Playground, uh, Jay Man Production, um, I found out that the demo had come out. So um, after watching his video and his reports on it, I downloaded it and tried it myself. Now, uh, this demo it was surprisingly a very good demo. I I went in not pretty much considering how low my expectations were for Final Fantasy XIII, but I was very impressed, you know. Uh, okay, well, basically, in this demo, you control um, the, the new character, Noel, with Sarah from the previous game, and you go through a scenario where you face against a boss called Atlas. Now, um, it was done very well. Like, the, the new changes they made are very refreshing now. Like, you now walk around the dungeon, like, town-like area. Like, it's like, kind of like a fusion of the, of the both. You have NPCs which you can talk to now, and they actually are important to talk to. Like from then you get side quests. In this demo, you get two quests which are quite easy to do. But the fact that you could actually do additional stuff outside of the last game where it was from the hunting practices was interesting. Yeah. Oh, sorry for that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I I quite enjoyed it because it it added a layer of something else to do because. Like, as J-Man said in his video, or Joseph, or, like, it got kind of boring because all he did was just battle, battle, battle. But in this one, you have a retrieval one, or, well, yes, you have the hunting one, you also have a retrieval one, which kind of shows that there could be more to it than just, like, you know, battling. You know, and as other shows have shown, you have races, slot machines, and you can imagine you have even more mini games at Look This Park, or the, the um, token res um, theme park in the latest stage. Now, um, the battling is, it's the same as, um, the processor, but it's different, it's like, it's fresh, you know, you, you recruit monsters into your team, and then you can change your paradigms, and when you change your paradigms with the monsters, you change the monsters with you in battle as well, and that then opens up for new techniques to use, because you can upgrade in each individual monsters to your own design, so, effectively, you know, by changing your paradigms, you can also and you can also you add even more strategies that they were from the previous game, which is a very welcome addition to the team. I normally quite hated um having monsters as recruitable party members because I just found it was just it was boring, you know. Monsters will never be as good as human characters. But now that each monster gets its own individual crystallium, that means you can develop them as good as much as Noel and Sarah. And I find that's very good, so well done square for that, you know. Um, also now, because you can jump now, you can also explore if different areas of the map now. You don't have to go for a straight path, you know. You may have one destination, like, up there in the map, but you can go multiple ways around it, and I like that. That's a nice addition, you know. It gets rid of that linearity that people had a problem with in Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they put that in, you know. I, I just hope that in the full game that it gets expandable and you can explore a lot more areas, you know. Because, like... I think what was the problem with Final Fantasy XIII was that it's not that it's linear because like every other Final Fantasy game is linear. It's just that like when you go into a dungeon, you know, you when you and when you finish your first your first dungeon in any Final Fantasy game, you know, you're not expected to go fresh straight into another. You have the world map to explore, so it's like you can go like just for example, um, Final Fantasy VII. After you do all shit in Midgar, you, you walk out and you're like, oh crap, this is the world. You can go around anywhere you want. Like, you don't have to go straight to the next part. You can just explore everywhere. You can go even face monsters which you which can't even handle it at this current time. You can do all that stuff. So it gives that openness. It it, it, it really marks linearity. And because Final Fantasy Virgin didn't do that, people picked up on it a lot more. And that was the problem. But I, I'm, I'm kind of expecting that being able to explore now will get rid of the linearity Final Fantasy XIII had as well. Yeah. And uh, they re redone the Crystallium to match kind of like the Sphere Grid in Final Fantasy X. The Sphere Grid is my favorite leveling system ever in video gaming history. Like, I don't think it could ever be parallel. And it's done very well. In this game, now, now you, have your, you have your roles. Now, say like the next path is as an empty node. Depending on how you get to there, using you can are we using your commando or your ravager points? Well, that's what's on the get at the demo. But you know, each point is different for the job that you do, 
And so you can actually now personalize your your um each paradigm instead of it just being uh just something you do like quite because you have to. You, know? you can now choose what you want to specialize in. You know? Now you're you're not forced to go into one certain route. And I I really like that because that, 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 the extra layer of um customization means that you know between two gamers like or even the hundred you like any of gonna have the same characters. They're gonna have all developed in their own way. It's only until the end game which when you when you control everything, then then you ever have the same character really. But until then, you know, the way you go about your main story will be completely different. And I like that personalized feel to it, you know. You know? Scenery is graphics and scenery amazing, you know. It's done very well and I like it. There's I have no complaints. I guess one of the things that Pop Eye Switching did well it, and this is carried on, you know. Also they've done this new interactive system where you now have to like um, press buttons in cutscenes or with trigger special moves, and I like that extra bit of involvement. And they they made it really different now. Some are like having to rapidly tap, or some having to press directions at a certain timing on the control stick. And I think that's another brilliant addition. You know, it's like get the character, get the player more involved in the battle, like instead of just you know X X X all about all about all about. And now you can have something a bit more to do, and that's a good addition. Now you can also change leaders now, which was a which is a massive problem I had with Final Fantasy XIII, where you couldn't change your leaders. But in this one, now you can change the leaders so that if if that like, Noel's about to die, I can now switch to Sarah, and so that if he does die, it's not game over. You know, stuff like that. I was really can be the pet peeves of many gamers, you know, mine me included, and I think that was a very welcome addition. You know, uh, battles are the battles were kind of okay, you know, they weren't too hard or too easy. It gave, it gave you a good feel of the game, and the boss fight, uh, you can either charge in and lose, or you do side quests to make it weaker, and then win. And that's that's nice as well, you know, because, like, like, there's a part where you can have, you, you have choices. Using, uh, using one of the buttons, you, you can choose and change the story. And that, I absolutely love that feature, because now... You don't have to go through this. You can you don't have to go through the same story. You can choose your own path, and that's a brilliant thing for them to have done. And I hear that that will be toyed around in the full game as well. So I'm very happy that they put that in. So, <laughs> like, I just think that is just. I'm sorry. That made me really excited because that was my favorite part of it. You know, being able to just have a choice: do I go with Alyssa's route? Do I go with Knowles? Do I go with Sarah's intuition? And I like that. That's, that's making the story more interactive to the player as well is a very good addition. And I think that this game, Final Fantasy Thirteen Two, could be the redemption to Final Fantasy Thirteen. You know what? What I'm gonna expect from the full game is to have more of the same from the demo. You know, I'm hoping that you actually get to use lightning during this game because uh, if if you use lightning, you'll be very upset. I see her. You see her in the trailers. But I hope you don't just get one part with her. Like, I hope that you get to control her as a character because she's like my favorite fantasy, Final Fantasy character, period. And, you know, uh, I will just like that. But I hear that there's DLC for her so in her old look. So that would be interesting. I mean, if they wanted to have it as in that you already used her temporarily, then they, wouldn't, they probably would have had her in a new look, right? I'm just being hopeful. Um, I'm hoping that the battle, I'm hoping that boss fights are very difficult, like, that's one of my, one of my pet peeves of Final Fantasy XIII was, it wasn't that boss fights were difficult, it was just, they were long, you know, I never, I never felt challenged facing a boss, and I hope that they shape things up to give the bosses more challenges, you know, I'm, it's just, it's needed, you know, difficulty, let's give the option of setting difficulty for the player as well, yeah, that, that could solve the problem as well, and I would like that. Uh, I'm expecting like more more side quests that aren't just like battling. I'm hoping I'm expecting that actually. Um, what else would I expect? Uh, I'd like to have just the characters to be developed well from the Final Fantasy Thirteen. Like, not them to be flanderized for this game. I'd like them to like show the changes and like let the changes be like relevant and understandable, not something that's completely random. You know, that, that would be, that's what I would like to see as well. And I just, I'm hoping that this game's good. I'm, I'm excited for it. And I probably will be getting it on a day of this release. And in fact, I'm even 
I'm gonna buy a Final Fantasy 13 again and play for it, like, because that's just how I'm excited, like, this demo got me, and I, I don't normally get this with like, demos. <laughs> and it's, 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 I'm hoping that this is the redemption to the game, you know. Uh, I'm gonna conclude this video here, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you for my review of Final Fantasy 13 to when I get it and when I complete it. So, um, until then, stay class to YouTube.